Welcome back to Let's Play Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout, or whatever the hell you want to call it. We are going to stage two, the desert. Oh joy, world one is grassland and world two is desert. That's totally original. So, first thing we have to do new obstacles involving these chasmus areas, rolling spikes, which knock quite a bit of health off, and more of those bee things. Also quicksand. Quicksand isn't that bad, it just sucks you in. You just keep pressing A to get out. Now, moving with the problems here, I forgot to mention in a previous video that if you get hit, you cannot attack anyone. So, while you cannot be hit during your invincibility frame, you cannot attack anyone else. This is a major problem in dealing with bosses. A serious problem. Believe me, it's gonna get really bad. Now, I'm being very risky here because I really don't give a fuck and I want to get this level done and over with quickly. I had to re-record this level a lot of times because there was a few problems with uh, recording. I'm pretty sure my recording equipment actually hates desert levels. Also those things down there, I don't know what the hell they are, but they will hurt you very badly if you go down there. Also tumbleweeds. And, oh hey, World 1's already done. And Daffy is here again. Now, I'm going to just give you a little, um, demonstration. The rabbit sign, you can't do anything to it. I tried doing everything to it, nothing. It's literally just there as a reference. Oh well, better than, that, better than nothing. So, getting out of round one, and getting into the uh, bonus round. So, typical, right? Um, I want to point out something uh, interesting that comes up. You'll notice uh, at some point in the video I'm going to get like a, a three in a row, and it won't count. But maybe not for now. You'll see, uh, I'll explain why when it comes up. I also discovered in a previous run of this that four in a row gives you five lives. That's something interesting. I have no idea what five do. Maybe you get ten lives, or maybe just seven. The shaking, I have no idea what that is. It is specific to one area only and is pointless. These tornadoes, while they hurt you, actually give you an extra jump in the air, so you can actually use this to your advantage. Um, so, just uh, collect some. There are these areas that are like completely pointless, but just are there for grabbing stuff. Oh, um, once you've collected the carrots, the, um, you can't go back and restock on them. They are collected forever. Oh look, the song's back! And it's gone. Now, spikes will probably kill you, which is why you just walk straight off here. Don't jump. It's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles jump. More shaking! Oh god, what do we do? It's not really effective at all. So, the desert area is incredibly boring, more so than the um, grasslands area. Also, this part is bullshit. I hate these things a lot, they're the worst enemies in the game because they have long distance attack. It's on the fucking spikes and it doesn't do anything! Fucking enemy invincibility, what the hell? And now to give you some more nightmare fuel, look at this creepy ass sphinx statue. It is twitching! I just wrecked it, it is twitching! What is up with that? That's so creepy! I'm, I'm serious, that is really weird. What is, I don't even know what that meant to represent. Is it alive? Is it like the shifting of the sands? Is it meant to be a shading of the sun? I don't know. It's really weird. So, <laughs> yeah, I knocked that thing by this guy. Um, speaking of annoying things, guess what's back? Oh look, it's Tweety! Fuck. So, I figured out a trick to basically dealing with Tweety. When you come down from above, slam down with the hammer on top of the bush or a cloud or whatever this is meant to be. Oh look, the cloud is a bush. Someone was clever. Not. Um, so yeah, like, Tweety can be either very easy or very difficult depending on whether you get to drop on him or not. I say him because I'm not giving a fuck. I only also have very little carrots so I just get quickly to the next stage. I just wanted to get this over with because I really hate this area. Um, so, yeah. Tweety isn't that difficult in general, you just have to get the jump first, and I think you can attack from when you're coming down on the bush itself that Tweety's hiding behind. You cannot attack behind bushes. 
don't ask me why. More Mega Man platforms, more these rolling spikes, so that's annoying, and these stupid jumping bits. Oh, here's another bullshit moment from the game. Yeah, I can shoot the walls, what the hell? So, more of these twitching sphinxes. It's just really... To be fair though, I do like the graphics on the palm trees. That's a really nice graphic. The palm trees sort of swaying in the breeze, I like that. Oh look, it's our favorite song. Now this part here... It's almost like the developers knew that song was annoying, because there's almost no way to jump down without hitting those... things. So either way, the song will end. Thank god. I debated going out to get these carrots, but I thought, no, I'm not dealing with these shitheads. I also have very low life. You can also roll and jump on those boulders. And you can actually destroy the boulders if you wanted. So... And another example of laziness, Daffy is not here. All you have to do is throw you down and grab the carrot. They couldn't even bother to put Daffy in the end of this level. It's very bizarre, I don't know why, and honestly, I don't fucking care. So, you'll notice that I got two three in line, one diagonal, one straight, but only the straight one counted. You see the um, green lines between the numbers? Those are what have to count. So, if there's no number connecting, like say 16, 11, 6, right there, that will not count. Oh, and I just realized the numbers actually change every time, so it is literally random. So, it's not the... it's not... you know, it, it's both easy and difficult, because it is random luck, and it's just stupid. Um, you can actually walk on enemies' heads, as I said before. This is actually very useful concerning the shooters, or whatever they are. Now, I want to grab a lot of carrots, because you always want to grab carrots when you're in round four. You will need a lot of them. So, I'm just gonna... Nope. Um, gonna go down a secret route. Well, I say secret. It's actually more of our top level. And there's the game's dick move! Destructible blocks. Like, immediately destructible. This is another reason why I hate the desert. They introduce a lot of annoying mechanics. I'm also gonna demonstrate something. Remember when I told you that uh, enemies can kill each other? I LIED! So, yeah. Um, lots of bullshit in this area. It's just coming out in rows and rows. I don't know if anyone actually did like this game when they were playing it as kids. I certainly didn't. I did not enjoy this game when I was a kid. Um, it's not a terrible platformer. It's got a lot of stupid things in it, and... The bosses aren't bad for now, but they get worse later on. So... Also, you do get a kind of clue as to which blocks are destructible or not. If you can jump through the block, it's destructible. If you can't, well, it's not. Um, oh, right. This part here, this is basically one large circle, this level. You have to go teleporting up to here, go across, and if you fall down, you have to do all of that again. Now, to the boss. It's your 70 Sam! The 70 is actually really easy to deal with, and uh, honestly, the only problem is he might constantly stun block you with his uh, bullets. Honestly, just keep jumping and hammering down on him, because even if you get hit in the inv and get stunned, you can still hit him if the mallet connects, which is kind of okay. So I gathered enough carrots and we get to play Willy the Weasel, the best game. Totally best game. I love Whack-A-Mole. Who doesn't love Whack-A-Mole? Does anyone remember there was a, a Whack-A-Mole kind of game called Gator Punch or something like that? Or Gator Slam? You basically all these crocodile heads would pop out and it would go bonk bonk bonk. That was hilarious. I did pretty well at that one. Um, yeah. So, I got 21 lives and Willy the Weasel is still a pretty good, the only good part of this game. I'll see you all in the next world. Goodbye.